grateful for our brothers and sisters, Lord, to come all the way from the continent of America to come and visit us here in Africa. I feel great. I think it's been a very good experience. We have students that have never traveled, and we have students that have, but um, this is a, a beautiful culture, and we're getting to learn about it from firsthand, uh, working alongside um, South Africans, and then also investing in the future for these babies that we've all fallen in love with. So I think it's been great. My favorite part would probably just be like the work, because like I like outside work, I like physical work, so probably just like getting to work with other people from here and just like knowing that what we're doing is kind of like making a difference. Wow. So the guy at Nessu, he was telling us like we were sitting over there eating snacks and he was like, um, you're so you guys don't live in California or Las Vegas? And we were like, no. And he said, I thought that's what, you know, the movies, that's where everybody lives. And I was like, well, we're, we're just not like that. And he was like, um, and you guys aren't cheerleaders? You're not all cheerleaders? I said, no, we're not cheerleaders. And he was like, well, um, all the girls that don't wear glasses are cheerleaders. And the ones that um, have glasses are the nerds. And that was just so funny to me because it's just like amazing to see how they perceive us because of what they see. <laughs> That is crazy. That's dead. That is not about to be held by me. Just seeing the um, faith that they have, and then even like with their troubles, like accepting us here, you know, providing all of our needs and everything, just shows that they're not even worried about it. Like that, God's got this covered and everything, and that just was really cool to me to see. <laughs> It's life changing so far and we've still got so much more of the trip to do and I'm just really grateful for all of the opportunities that I've been given, especially this one. What this has taught me so far is how important water is and how it's going, it's getting more and more scarce though they're doing something about it by limiting their use here. As in America, we're still just using as much as we want to without thinking about who is it going to affect in the long run. The more fundraisers we did, the more it like piled up for my, um, for my account to come to Af South Africa. And then I got blessed by a trustee at Chowan. Um, she blessed me by covering the rest of my trip because I was a little nervous about the payments and how I'm gonna get it and I was probably like a thousand and something short so I was a little worried about how I'm gonna get it and by the month of April and it was already going into February so I'm like how am I gonna get all this money in time but by the grace of God of praying and the lady I can't think of her name right now off the top of my head but I do appreciate her by blessing me with paying the rest of my trip off I just I like being here and just seeing how everybody um, how they live so similar but also so differently from the way we live because there's a lot of things like the water conservation and um, how they live more simplistically how it's quieter and stuff like that I really I really enjoy seeing that and um, seeing how differently my life would be or how more peaceful I would be if I was more cautious of the resources that I was using or quieter and stiller so that I can hear God and my life would be so chaotic, you know? It's like the sword in a stone. She don't know what you're trying to do. <laughs> we um, care for the things they have and they're grateful for, for what they already own and what's already going on here 
Um, but then through seeing the plans they have for this um, area, is that, that even though they appreciate what they already have, they're not really content and, and they still want to do bigger, greater things. Um, so I, I think that's really cool that someone can appreciate what they have but not be content with where they are. All the mission trips I've been on, like it, I just get closer to God, so that's why I, I keep wanting to go more and more because I just feel that um doing things like okay, okay. um just, just seeing the babies and knowing that all of us have like our hand in like what's gonna be a house for them one day is just like really touching to me.